oh goodness, what's going on here? <laughs> a curious creature creeping into a car, then having to be rescued by local firefighters. It's cute. Yeah, it Pudgy. is. Pudgy. <laughs> Your reporter covering Eldorado County, Shelby Riley, spoke with the driver of that car about how the rodent, cute rodent, made the more than 130-mile journey. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't actually discover the marmot until Monday night, um, and so it was in there the whole time. Phoebe Stokes lives in Pollock Pines and traveled to Yosemite last weekend. She returned last Sunday night, but didn't notice any extra passengers or noises or sounds. I was listening to a podcast and eating Taco Bell. Nothing seemed out of the ordinary until Monday. Stokes says she had no idea the marmot was in her car until she got all the way back home and her dog started sniffing the front of her car uncontrollably and she says that's when it was revealed that the marmot was underneath the hood in the engine compartment. The marmot making the nearly three hour trip from Yosemite to Pollock Pines. Open the hood and this big fat mer furry marmot jumped out and immediately ran back under my hood and or under from underneath into the engine. She says she called the local wildlife agency and it was decided it needed to be trapped in a closed off area so it could be brought back to Yosemite. The El Dorado County Fire Protection District stepped in to help. Firefighters worked for some period of time with various tools to uh, open up the vehicle, um, the engine compartment area and then remove the, um, the road safely. Fire Captain Jacob Poganski says they worked for about an hour and a half to get it out. The marmot is okay and there was no damage to the car. A situation the fire department says they don't hear about too often, but a good reminder to check underneath the hood for any extra guests. If my dogs hadn't sniffed it, I probably wouldn't have found it ever. Poor thing, so I'm glad it's okay. Like that marmot toss. I just grab it, plop. All right. And Stokes, the sound it made. I know. So Stokes says, uh, the, the young lady you heard from says Fish and Wildlife is going to put the marmot back in the exact spot where she parked in Yosemite. Oh, good. I'm sure that little guy will be glad to be home. Let's hope so. Stay right? away from car engines. Yes, Mr. please. Marmot.